Welcome, my name is Richard. This is our Model 3 Highland, and today's going to be the first long road trip in it. So, a really good chance to test the real world range and efficiency as we put it to work, just doing what we need to do today as part of our daily business. So, left home this morning, I've already been in the car for an hour and 20 minutes today. Left home this morning, 100% state of charge. Charge it right up for the first time. And let's see what it's going to cover. I've already done three stops all around town and I'm over to work now. And we're about to leave to now go on to Chichester. And then from there up to Dartford, East London, and then all the way back again. So it's going to be the best part of 300 miles. So a great opportunity to get to spend a bit more time in the car. It's probably going to be six hours of driving today. Uh, but we'll get a real handle on what this real world efficiency and range is going to be like. Is it much better than the previous Model 3 long range? We're about to find out. It's nine degrees this morning. It's a bit chilly. It is dry, but it's kind of chilly and damp and not very brilliant. There's a little bit of a breeze, just real world conditions. So. First bit, driving around town, quite efficient, just over 200 watt hours per mile. That's nearly five miles per kilowatt hour. That's not bad. But now we're going to put three people in the car, hit the motorway. That's where it's a little bit less efficient. We'll have some weight in the car, again, real world testing here. And we're going to head off to Chichester next. Doing all right so far. So I just noticed we're at 75% battery, so we used a quarter. I've now done 85 miles, so we're well on track for over 320 miles of range with three of us in the car at the moment. The heating's been on 20 degrees, and we've got the sound pump in testing the sound system. So it's doing all right. I do think this seems to be more efficient at motorway speed. So since charge, combination of everything, two, four and a half miles per kilowatt hour, 221 watt hours per mile. It's flicking around that kind of number, even with all three of us in the car, just the motorway, 225 watt hours per mile. I Me and Gintz were just talking, I think the previous long range would be nearer 250, wouldn't so it? Like so that's actually, yeah. I think so, yeah, in these conditions and driving at speed limit, I think. 10.30, now in Chichester. Uh, this is looking pretty good, actually. So 90 miles since I left home this morning, 218 watt hours per mile in that last section, which was mostly motorway. Uh, 219 as well there, so that's pretty good. Still got 73% battery, so the range is looking really good. I think this is more efficient on motorway speeds, definitely, because I think a previous model would have been about best part of 250 watt hours per mile um, on the sort of conditions we've driven. We spent a lot of time in this. Too. Uh, so we're going to stop for lunch, uh, which is when we're probably normally plugging and charging and stuff, but no need to do that here, is there? <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to stop. Hey, look, your first time driving this car, quick impression, don't give away too much. Love it. Yeah. I'll just leave it like that. Love what about these stalks though? Don't need them. There you go, all done, there's your impression. <laughs> It's now 10 past one in the afternoon and we've just picked up this Mercedes EQC, uh, but it only has 40 miles of range on it. So we've just had to come straight away to charge it. We're in Perfleet, uh, so just north of the river by the, near the Dartford crossing. Uh, I don't need to charge, so I'm just parked out the way over there, no problem. But we're gonna get some charge in this. Uh, and it's stone cold battery, straight onto a charger. So I don't think it's really gonna be- Stone cold. Do you know what? Oh, 83, 98. Oh, hang on, so that's about 77. 77 kilowatt, 78. Yeah, for this car's been parked up for, uh, I think, a, a week or two. So it really is stone cold. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, well, it shouldn't be too long. Put a bit of charge in this and then we'll head back. So EQC, what do you reckon on efficiency? Is it going to be as good as a Model 3 Highland? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a bit different, I think. Uh, but I guess you're going to need a bit. What have we got back from here? 140 miles, something like that? So you need a bit of charge in that. I've got under 50% now, about 48%. Should be fine. Okay, stop for about half an hour. Top, top the, so the Mercedes EQC over there is on 74%. I'm on 48%. Time to head back 130 miles.
Right, we're back, back at office. So it's just gone four o'clock in the afternoon. That has been quite a day of driving. Not many people do much more than that in a day, really. Unless you're on a proper long, long road trip. What have we got? Right, let's have a look. So, pop it into park. And the last drive there, 228 watt hours per mile. Actually, was lower, but we had to do some overtaking. So, uh, that increased it. But all together today, 223 watt hours per mile, 69 kilowatt hours used. I've covered 309 miles. Still got 6% remaining, about 20 miles left. Uh, so there we go, real world. And we weren't hanging around, weren't trying to drive efficiently. The heating's been on all day. The radio's been on all day. Um, but this car does really quite happily go over 300 miles. And that's in some fairly chilly conditions and driving kind of 70. That last bit was really all 70 miles an hour. So. Even uh, mostly 70 miles per hour, you're talking four and a half miles per kilowatt hour, so 223, 225 miles per mile. Now I'm fairly confident if I was in one of the previous long ranges, I'd have been more like 245, 250, 255 watt hours per mile. So about four miles per kilowatt hour, and this is doing about four and a half miles per kilowatt hour as an overall average. There are certainly times when you could easily make it do five miles per kilowatt hour. So I can make this car go quite a lot further. I don't think that's too bad at all. So, um, and I'd only just clicked onto 100% when I left as well. So there's a little bit left. I mean, I've used 69 kilowatt hours. There's probably 75 odd kilowatt hours available here. So there's certainly a few left to go. Uh, but nonetheless, 309 divided by, let's say, 94% used. That would give this car a range of two, uh, 329 miles based on today's conditions and driving, well, mostly motorway. Not hanging around, plenty of miles to cover in a day. There's a lot to do. It's over six hours of driving today, I think it would have been. Uh, so this is impressive. Very, very good indeed. Certainly over 300 miles. Now I could get over 300 miles at the previous one, but probably for just a maybe slightly warmer weather. I mean, it could do it. It could do it. It could do sort of three, 310, 320 with some of the better numbers I had at the previous one. Maybe nearer, lower than 300 for most people, but this one quite easy doing well over 300. That's still a bit in the bank, no problem at all. It means I didn't have to stop and charge anywhere at all. So I'll uh, do some calculations. I mean, what's that cost? Uh, for me, uh, actually nothing really, because um, I can just plug in on the solar. Uh, we've harvested a bit of today, even though it's a bit gloomy. Uh, but let's have a look. I mean, I can do some calculations now. Look, 69 kilowatt hours were used. Uh, the highest rate of domestic electricity is about 27 pence per kilowatt hour at the moment. So uh, let's have a look. So 0.27 times by the 69 kilowatt hours used. So you're looking at about 18 pounds 63 to do over 300 miles if you're paying for the highest uh, electricity at the highest domestic rate. If you're paying for electricity at say overnight, seven pence per kilowatt hour, then four pound 83. Or if you have solar, even less than that. So there we have it, Model 3 Long Range, a very, very good car. Uh, I'll get in more in position where I can do like a full review of this car, so make sure you stay subscribed. Uh, but it's been quiet, it's been comfortable, the sound system's good. It's been an absolute pleasure to do over 300 miles in a day, no problem at all. I've had a bit of gripe before that I'd like the seat base to be a little bit longer, but as I sit here now, I've been fine. Can't grumble at all. Very, very good indeed. Very, very good. So uh, big thumbs up on the Highland there. Long range. And this is why I have the long range. I do days like this quite a lot. Uh, and there were loads of opportunities to charge. I could have easily done that in a standard range, to be fair. Uh, but I can do it all in one go. Not even bother anybody at superchargers. Charge back up here. No problem at all. So there we have it. Hope it's been useful, interesting, and we'll see you on another video soon. Again, more content, and I'll film like a, a full review of this car. I think I like and don't like about it. It's not too much I don't like about it, I don't think, but uh, I will, you know, as I'm putting on the miles this car, there's some big days like this, puts me in a good position to give you a really good thorough review and exactly what I think of it. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel. See you on the next video very soon. Oh, by the way, the uh, Mercedes EQC, he averaged 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour on that trip, whereas I averaged four and a half. So you see, big difference. Well done, Highland. All right, see you in the next one.